thank you, Carlos. Uh, it's my pleasure to be with you today and present the uh, Southeastern uh, uh, Hub uh, uh, practices that we selected for today. Uh, the Center for the Promotion of Science is the hub, uh, and um, uh, we had a consultation workshop in the October uh, last year. Uh, you can see uh, on the photo our uh, stakeholders uh, that, that gathered in a great number. And uh, we discussed a lot of uh, uh, practices uh, that, that were uh, then uh, uh, further evaluated. Uh, the hub is uh, quite uh, huge. Uh, it uh, consists of uh, five countries, and uh, uh, those are uh, Albania, Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, Croatia, Montenegro, and Serbia. Uh, we decided to uh, create a kind of a steering board out of uh, the, this uh, excellent group and uh, those are our future ambassadors in the region to promote RRI. Uh, I don't know if you can see, the, the, those are just the snapshots of the to, to grab the atmosphere at the workshop. Uh, it was uh, really um, uh, the session full of brainstorming, uh, good energy, co-creation, networking, sharing, multiplying. And um, uh, during these uh, discussions, uh, uh, we uh, had presented uh, several uh, promising practices. Um, uh, I put it some uh, of them here. I cannot go into detail due to the time restrictions, but you can uh, visit the uh, auditorium and uh, see on the big screen there s some of them. Uh, we selected uh, the four practices uh, to, to be presented a little bit more in detail. Uh, the first one is the Biosense Center, and I noticed that there is a, a popular name. Uh, there is a Biosense project also here in Portugal. Uh, and uh, this is the, the practice from uh, the city of Novi Sad, from the University of Novi Sad in Serbia. Uh, the uh, web page uh, is uh, presented here, and you can see uh, here the founder and the director of the center, Vesna Crnovic Begin. The uh, Biosense Center is uh, uh, focused on the um, application of ICT solutions in agriculture, ecology, environment, uh, protection and the forestry. And uh, uh, the aim of uh, this practice is uh, to advance scientific knowledge through reinforcing the role of agriculture. And um, uh, why this uh, could be um, uh, selected as a, as a real RRI uh, promising practice is uh, that it is promoting the open innovation approach in research and uh, it's sharing the knowledge and fostering intensive collaboration with end users. Uh, so uh, the stakeholders uh, are uh, innovative uh, ICT SMEs, end users, uh, farmers, agriculture enterprises and the regional government. Activities uh, of the Biosense uh, uh, Center are uh, to engage the region, uh, region in a path uh, of in, uh, innovative uh, growth uh, through incorporating the needs and the expectations of the stakeholders. And um, the, in this practice, uh, the living lab uh, concept is also applied and um, uh, what they call precision agriculture, this PA for all uh, is uh, formed uh, like a living lab. And this is the first living lab in uh, Europe and in Serbia uh, dealing with the precision agriculture. Uh, the next uh, practice is a, a societal uh, project. This is a, a, a project funded by EU under the FP7 uh, program. And uh, uh, the proposer of uh, this practice is the company Dunavnet, uh, also from Novi Sad in Serbia. Uh, the aim uh, of this practice is to create a socially aware, citizen-centric Internet of Things. This is also uh, a new technology, ICT technology. And uh, uh, the idea is to involve the citizens in the creation of uh, uh, the, of the solutions based on Internet of Things that could uh, help them 
to uh, create a better living environment. Uh, the, sorry, this was the website of the of the project. Uh, the uh, aim of, of the project uh, is, in fact, to enable the citizens to um, uh, 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 be um, in, uh, included in, in the creation process of the services uh, based on IoT technologies and uh, uh, to be a very pro-citizen IoT uh, uh, collaborators. Uh, the project is encouraging the participation of the uh, users uh, to boost the IoT uh, because uh, I don't know how you know, uh, uh, much know about uh, Internet of Things technologies, but they are uh, uh, in a starting phase and uh, this project would like to put them on a larger scale. Uh, so uh, the approach is uh, to create a very, very technical uh, solution that uh, will uh, create a reliable environment uh, for, for, for the creation of the services. Under the project, some uh, pilots are already developed uh, in the city of Novi Sad, mood of the city and uh, elevator supervisor. Uh, uh, in uh, Saturday in Spain, uh, Saturday Citizen, uh, Saturday uh, uh, Dusk, and enabling uh, Saturday, and also a new um, uh, camera in the project uh, from Taipei is uh, having the pilot for a smart retail. Uh, uh, the, the key of this practice, why we are uh, uh, labeling it as uh, RRI is uh, that, that is uh, in, uh, including uh, users uh, and users in, in the co-creation of, of the services and uh, the key features are that, that uh, all this uh, process is very intuitive and trustworthy and assistive to, to the users so they can uh, uh, create uh, the services that uh, will help them to uh, uh, live better and have the, the better quality of life. Under the project, uh, the ecosystem is uh, uh, created that, uh, with the key elements that are trust, user control, and transparency. Um, you can see here the uh, photos from the, uh, some co-creation workshops. Uh, the first one uh, is uh, from the city of Saturn there, and uh, the second is uh, from, from the city uh, uh, of Novi Sad. Uh, the next practice is uh, Aero Bio Act from uh, Rijeka in Croatia. Uh, this is a, a project uh, that, that is uh, developing uh, bioethical standards. And um, uh, the aim of this project is to uh, uh, connect the researchers, the scientific community, uh, local governments, uh, civil society organizations in the process of creating uh, bioethical standards that are based on the um, European practice, but also on the real user needs of uh, the, the stakeholders. Uh, and uh, the methodology is that uh, 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 a number of events uh, will be uh, uh, run uh, uh, from the workshops, conferences, etc., where, where all the stakeholders will meet, uh, exchange the ideas, and through dialogue come to, 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 uh, to the formulation of the needs and uh, the, the uh, content of these uh, uh, biostandards. The stakeholders are uh, the research community, uh, local government, uh, civil society organizations, and the general public. Uh, the expected outcomes is uh, to, to create a set of bioethical standards that really uh, would fit the needs of the all stakeholders and that will uh, address uh, uh, the, the, the quality of life as the major problem in, uh, in, a, in uh, environmental protection uh, and uh, uh, this is something that they are doing also concretely in the three municipalities uh, of, uh, in, in Croatia. Uh, I would uh, stop one here. One minute. No, I, I, will, uh, I will stop here because I will not go through the last <laughs> practice because uh, due to the, some uh, recent development, uh, uh, the, uh, promising uh, is uh, uh, getting a big question mark because uh, um, uh, the, the main idea changed uh, due to the, some uh, political decisions and uh, budget cuts, so I will not go through this practice. Thank you. Thank you, Dilna. Thank you.